Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. From whom all blessings flow Praise Him, all creatures here below Praise Him above the heavenly host Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost From whom all blessings flow Praise Him, all creatures here below Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts Praise Father, Son, and Holy to be towards the end of the pandemic with the CDC removing the mask requirements and things are beginning to kind of move back to normal and I think we're all very excited about that and what that means is we're entering into summer. I want us however to uh, not let the, the difficulties and the struggles that we've had over the last 12 plus months now just simply fade into our memory and, and eventually fade away. And what I mean by that is I, I want us to, to take a look at what are the things that maybe God has been trying to teach us or to show us during this pandemic time when we were really kind of locked down. Because we all live through lives, our lives who have, we go up and down, there are high points, there are low points, sometimes we're barely holding on. And we're not the first ones to experience this. That has happened all throughout history, and you even see it with Jesus and the disciples. An example of that is just taking a quick overview of Mark chapter 6. It has a lots of highs and lows in it. Everything from Jesus being rejected in his hometown to um, the first missionary tour where the 12 disciples are sent out into another, another land to heal and, and to uh, cast out demons, to the feeding of the 5,000, to the death of John the Baptist, to uh, Jesus calming the, the waters and walk in the storm and walking on the water to meet the disciples, all the way to healing and casting out a demon from a man in Gennesaret. Lots of ups and downs. And I think we too have been on lots of ups and downs throughout our lives and we're kind of coming out of a low point, I think, for many of us right now. And one of the things that God does more often than not is in those difficult times are the times of great spiritual growth for us because we're learning, we're maybe becoming more dependent upon God. And so as we are coming out of this pandemic, at least in the U.S., we know it is, it is still running rampant in other parts of the world. But as we're beginning to move out of the pandemic, the question we have to ask ourselves is, what are the things that I have learned either about myself or about God that God has been revealing to me that I need to take to heart, that I don't, need, I don't want to lose? because that will, that will retard my spiritual growth in some way. 
And so before you get too far into summer and forgetting about the last 14 plus months or whatever, take the time to just do a little reflection on what you have learned either about yourself or about God. And continue to say, how do I begin to continue to build on that so that it becomes a building block that is helpful for me? I want to invite you to do that. Do that as we're heading into nice weather this week. And uh, the next couple uh, devotions Debbie's going to be doing because I'll be on vacation. Um, but just wanted to encourage you as you, uh, you begin to move towards summer. So let me offer us a word of prayer. God, thank you that you are always faithful. You are the one who walks with us and through the difficulties as well as the high points. Lord, help those places where you are training us, particularly found in those low points, to not be lost on us. Help us to move closer to you as a result of what you have brought us through. Lord, we thank you that you are continuing to call us to deeper and deeper faith. Help us to do that, even today, as we reflect on your faithfulness to us. In your name, amen. Well, community theater is actually having auditions starting today. And what that reminds me of is the community theater is something we really want to pour our heart and soul into as a congregation. And what I mean by that is we really want to love the community theater as a ministry, not just a nice thing that we do and, oh, we let them do it, but it's something for all of us as a congregation to really see this as something that God can use for his kingdom. One of the ways that we can do that is simply to care, get to know, and love the staff. Uh, Mary Pretchell has said that she would be willing, she's willing to coordinate whether it's ushers and greeters, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but even some people who would come when they start Saturday, Saturday rehearsals to just bring some, some bagels and cream cheese for the staff and to care about the staff, get to know the staff and to befriend them. Show them a friendly face as they're working hard to put together the production. That's one of the ways I think all of us can love the staff, or the cast, I should say, the cast. And so I invite you to look for ways to do that and connect with Mary, and she will help you kind of find the right place. We also want to care and love for the people who are going to come and see the performances at the end of July and in early August. That's our opportunity to be greeters, to be ushers, to be, help the, I think it's the deacons who are putting out the cookies for intermission. And just be a friendly face to help direct people, to help people feel like they're cared about, that they're loved as guests as they come to enjoy the performance. Those are all things I want us to begin to think about. How can we do that as a congregation to share the love of Christ with all who walk through our doors, whether they're a member of cast or whether they're, they're um, people who are coming to watch the performances. Let's demonstrate the love of Christ to them in powerful ways and trust God that he will do something special with that. So that's one of the things we can do. I want to invite you to do that. The other piece in this too is that um, more towards the pastoral uh, transition is to um, make sure if you're considering uh, being, con would like to be considered for the PNC, get those questionnaires in um, by the end of May, because we want to we want to move on those and get get that PNC formed as soon as we can. And so, uh, if you're thinking about it, get it in sooner rather than later. We're just going to put a hard deadline at the end of of May for that, and then uh, session will begin to discern a group of uh, of people to be a part of the PNC that they will bring to the congregation. 
So some of the things that are going on, also just want to let you know, we're working towards putting together a job description for the new pastor, as well as a profile for the church. That's already in progress for us. And once those things are finalized, we'll obviously make them available for you to see as well. So you know what potential candidates will be looking at for us at Faith Church. So just some of the things that are going on. I hope you have a good day and God bless everybody. Bye-bye now.